fifteen. I just wish I could have my EMPS open while listening to this stuff so I can go uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six. Where is the meeting? Three, five, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, X two. Stand by camera two. My cue. Hello everyone and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Casey DeSantis. And I am Nick Loren. So are you still struggling off or shrugging off what you uh, what you want to buy for that picky friend, that family member? Because I haven't even started my holiday shopping yet. I'm just not sure. I know. I gotta find some stuff. What happened to the Royals? We are going to be giving you a little extra help with our 12 days of Christmas gifts. So for the next 12 days, we're going to give you different and unique holiday gift ideas. Our first gift ideas for that adventurous and fun person in your life. You may have to think outside the box to make them happy. And this idea does just that by adding a little horsepower into your holiday gift giving. We are talking about tickets to Monster Jam. Remember we had, like the, that. Remember we had the, we the girl that. on here? Roll and Bean. Yeah, we, we did do that. We did. I forgot about that. We, we, we didn't, didn't do, do the that. Flesh. What monitor is that? The smart? Uh, that is the LB. in town for one night only, February 21st Please. at Everbank Field, and it is guaranteed to sell out. 16 monster truck superstars will be there getting down and dirty, including the sports legendary icon Dennis Anderson driving Grave Digger. His son Ryan Anderson will also be there driving Son of a Digger. <laughs> and we can't forget about Mohawk Warrior Hot Wheels and so much more. Tickets are available right now for as low as 10 bucks and are available at Ticketmaster outlets all over the place, as well as Jacksonville Veterans Arena box office. But guess what? Right now, we want to hook up one lucky viewer with a four-pack of VIP tickets. We are talking about Come. sitting in the Terrace Suite, where you can meet and greet with all right. drivers. All you have so to do nutcrackers is next. Monster. Two five five four three by three p.m. today. You must be eighteen years or older to enter. One winner will be chosen at random, and you have to come here to the station to pick up your prize. So good luck. Happy with that. one day out of twelve. That's, that's the first one. We got it. We're starting off with got eleven more to go. We've got eleven more good days really of gift good. giving keep ideas. Keep tuning in, and guess what? What? They're here. They are here. They I are here. The Duke yeah. of Cambridge and Duchess Kate of Cambridge arrived in New York City today, and a lot of people are, you know, hoping to get a little glimpse of the couple. They're planning That's the Royals. to uh, be in the U.S. Yeah, for three days. Yeah, so today Prince William will head to the White House to visit the President and the Vice President. He'll attend a conference at the World Bank to talk about wildlife conservation. Kate, by the way, is scheduled to visit a Harlem it's child it's care center, normal. and later tonight yeah, the couple, too. they're going to go watch some basketball. They're going to the Cleveland Cavaliers game with the Brooklyn Nets. The trip will wrap up on Tuesday after a visit at the 9-11 Museum and Memorial, the Empire State Building, and they're also going to be doing a fundraiser, and that fundraiser has been a lot of talk of the town because I think you can get in for $10,000 a person. Oh, what? For $100,000 a table. And that's how many tables? Like 1,000 tables? I think, well, I think there's like 450 people scheduled wow. to attend, so you can do the math. Nice. And it's one of Jacksonville's greatest holiday traditions. Friday, December 19th is the opening night of the First Coast Nutcracker. Dazzling costumes, brilliant sets, and dancers from across the world, as well as right here in our own backyard, bring Tchaikovsky's masterpiece, masterpiece to life. Tickets are available right now at jacksonsymphony.org. But we are giving away five family I'm sorry. packs Oscar for opening night. Just text the word Nutcracker to 255 okay. by 3 p.m. today. You must be, of course, 18 years old to enter. Five winners will be chosen at random. And you will need to pick up the prize right here at the station. And go to B. And now that almost everyone has a camera phone, Guys, the challenge is to take meaningful, memorable, and creative it, pictures that easily unlock right, those photos from your smartphones. Those phones can make great gifts. And joining us now is professional photographer Amy Postal. And Amy, what are some of the top tips that okay. you say help people to make better <laughs> yeah. pictures with their mobile devices? You know, you want to make sure that you can use them later on. I know. You got it, Casey. We Thanks for having me today. Um, you know, people ask me that all the time. So. Whether I'm taking pictures for the cover of Parents Magazine or I'm photographing my own two young children, I always try to keep in mind the same things, which is uh, perspective, lighting, and personality, which is the most important thing. You know, you can really bring your photos to life with. But above that, uh, what I really want to talk to you about today is printing your photos because so many people don't print them, and, um, you know, that's the most important part. Well, how do we do that? What's the best source to be able to print those and make sure that we're getting a good quality product? Sure. Well, I'm super excited to talk about this today. Kodak just came out with this awesome app called, uh, you can go to the App Store and search uh, Kodak Moments, uh, and you download it to your you know, smartphone or um, tablet, and in a matter of minutes, you can access your film roll, you can access Facebook, Two minutes. Instagram photos, your Dropbox, Two in and uh, print to your local CVS or Target, and it just makes it so easy that there's no longer an excuse uh, not to do it. <laughs> so essentially, you can go into your smartphone, and you can order 
right Jesus there and then go to a CVS, you said, or Target and just pick them up. You got it, and um, it's super easy. Like you, don't, you don't need. You can be a computer technology novice. Uh, the app is extremely simple. You can make customizable photo products, like you know, albums for grandma for the holidays, or you know, I made my Christmas cards the other day. I literally had a nine-month-old sleeping baby on me on the couch, watching TV in one hand that I had yes. free. I made What's my up with Camera Seven? So there's just a lot of different products you can do in large room collages, I don't know. and then yes. it just makes a really customizable, easy photo, you know, a photo project <laughs> that I don't know. In minutes it was working right like a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have no control over it really at all. Right now I mean, it's just straight up black. Yeah. I, so you can make the card One minute. The I do not know. Do you need me to page somebody? Yeah, that would probably be good. Awesome, uh, Camera seven, black. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that what you asked? Which is amazing. Some, yeah. and if you okay. Don't phone, which, you know, why wouldn't you? It's the simplest thing ever. You can scroll scroll engineering to the it's studio, it's please. Engineering to the studio, please. It's two words. Codec. No, it's uh, the other way. It's an easy really high quality, awesome photo products. And I really right. just hope I really hope everybody Kodak go out there and print their photos. You no longer have an excuse not to. So right. Kodak Moments app is well, Wonderful. that's what I was going to end with. Ended up very nicely. How, what is the app that we need to go to to, to get and download? Fifteen. And the website to get more Fifteen in package. Sure. Uh, you can go to the Kodak uh, Kodak Moments. Ten. Search it on uh, the App Store and download it. Super simple. Five. All right. Well, thank four, you so much. We appreciate three, you, Amy. Two. Cool. Thank you so much, Casey. And Mike, you. And thanks to Kodak. Uh, Kodak. <laughs> Kodak uh, Alaris. <laughs> That's what Alaris. happens when you look at it for a really long time, and then what happens is you have two separate words. <laughs> you put the words two words together. You put the words together. Kodak, Kodak, Kodak Alaris. Also known, Kodak. thank you. Also known as. Appreciate that. Stick around. <laughs> Coming up, our first clip will be making Scrolling a long scene. Coming back to camera two. We're meet one of the missionaries with GoTo Nations and see how they are creating change. And book expert Rona Bradley cam. breaks down the hottest reads Somebody for your favorite reader this holiday season. But first, he's one of the best tennis coaches in the world. Venus Williams coach David Witt shares a secret weapon for injuries and prevention. He is next to Gerda. And take it. Well, I, I hit one of the buttons and it went back Ten, to where it needed nine, to go. Eight, seven, seven six, six. So it's fine. It, four, it seems four, like three, it's fine. Three, two, one. Mike you. Well, nursing a sports injury is no fun, so why not get permanent relief? Our next guest did Still just that from mm -hmm. Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. Please welcome three. tennis coach, the man, the legend, David Witt to the show. How are you doing, David? Good. Thank Two. You. The, you know, we can't get into this without, like, talking about, you know, what's going on. One. You, you are the man. You're working with Venus. Uh, you are just Two. killing it out there. You've been with her for 10 years now. What has that been like? 10 years. It's three. been a blast. She's, uh, she's awesome. Uh, I grew up playing tennis, Cut. and uh, that was my profession. And uh, stopped playing and got into coaching, and uh, we've had a great relationship. So when you coach Two. Venus Williams, we got to get into the nitty gritty of all of this. One. Do you go with her to every tournament? Are you working with her when she's at home? I mean, what is the relationship like? Two. Little of both. Early Three. on, it was it was uh, more hands-on uh, training weeks, and now it's uh, every tournament. So. Um, so you travel around the globe. Around the world, yeah. Every what time. are you helping her with when you're training with her? Are you saying, hey, maybe you need to bring the racket a little bit more this direction? Or or is it strength training? What is it that you're specifically doing? It's off-court stuff, a lot of on-court stuff, uh, strategy, getting her ready to play different people, depending on who she's playing Four. and how she has to play and uh, prepare, prepare, prepare for the match. Have you ever played her yourself? Uh, you standing by me. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've <laughs> played it here and there. Yeah. But yeah. What is it like? Because two. I never asked, what is it like playing like Venus and Serena? One. I mean, I don't know if you played Serena. I know there's yeah. like two separate separate teams. Two. Yeah. Sisters. What is it? She's a, one of the best players in the world. One. What they're, is that like? They're awesome. I mean, and this is why. Because he's there with her. This is why she is who she is. You know what I'm saying? Behind every great tennis female one. athlete is a great coach. They're <laughs> unbelievable. Two. So I mean, as sisters, you'll never see something Three. like this. How their career ever again? Right? No, ever. Well, unfortunately, two. with this sport, it's a high-impact sport. There are injuries One. that come with it. What are some of the, the normal and, and, and things that you're seeing on the court and things that have two. happened with you as a tennis player over the years? Three. Yeah, I've, I've had three three surgeries, and obviously that's uh, how my relationship got started with GOI. And uh, I've lived here 40 years, and my first surgery I went in, and uh, it was my knee. Got that done from uh, Dr. Chandran. Three. And uh, then wrist, Dr. Steinberg, and then my third one was Dr. C, uh, Caracia. 
And what these were while you were playing and the graphics kind of just show is this later in life? When did these injuries happen? Well, One, recently I just had something two, done, so that's right. I haven't played in a long time. I'm three. I has been, but uh, the first two were when I was playing. It just it's a lot of pounding on the body, hard courts, clay courts, and uh, tennis is something you can play for a lifetime, but it's also very uh, grueling on the body. I got to ask you this because you're you're here in Jacksonville. You know, you could go One. You, you're traveling all over the place with Venus. You have access to all these different places, but you choose JOI. What is so special Two. about JOI and how, how have they helped you through all these years? Um, well, I've lived here 40 One. years and I, I know how good the doctors are here at JOI and uh, I really it was I just it was no no decision. I went straight into JOI and uh, I Two. trusted them and it, it went great. So you just recently Two. got the procedure done. Are you getting ready to get back onto the circuit with Venus soon? What's the turnaround time One. for you to, it, it, I'm assuming she's taking a break right now over the she holidays. She is. Two. She's on break and uh, I've been on break a, l Three. a little too long and I need to get going and get in the gym and get ready to get going again. We leave uh, New Year's Eve. Where do you go? Ooh, New Two. Year's Eve, where do you go? We go to Auckland, New Zealand, Three. and then uh, for about a week or two and then we'll head to Melbourne. Wow, Two. what an adventurous lifestyle. How much fun that must be. It's a lot of fun. For anybody that's out there that One. that's playing tennis and, and coming up in the ranks or even other impact sports, what are some, some things that they can do to prevent some of Two. Well, I think uh, young kids, uh, obviously, Three. No what one camera are you going to use for the performance here, bump, Sally? You know, they don't even know how to stretch, but I think that's a key. Uh, three. And I think the three. older you get, you start uh, flexibility, the stretching, and I think that one. really helps prevent injuries and uh, then getting hurt and having to get surgery. Yeah, and it's hard when you're a kid because you go, Two. Ah, I'm indestructible because you know, exactly. I'm not One. And as you get older, you go, I remember Two. when, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, gosh, you wake I would have just listened to every One. day. And I think Two. Uh, if you stretch and you take care of your body, I think Three. the less you'll be sore. And, and stretching before or after, Two. should you, I mean, obviously warm up, make sure you're nice and One. warm Absolutely. before you jump in. But do you stretch before Two. in tennis or do you stretch after? Both. Three. You gotta warm up properly, get on a bike, get the blood flowing, and then stretch Sorry. and do the same after. Yeah, that's good Two. advice. That's a, but you know, it always prolongs the workout. One. So it's always, I'll get to the stretching part, you it's know. But so important. Oh, it's like so important. Said. Well, thank you so much for taking the thank time to you. be here it's and, and share your here. experience. And maybe we'll have you back on as the tennis se season goes. Where is she ranked right now? What, what's, the, what's the situation looking like going into the future? I mean, she's up there. I know. Yeah, she's, she's towards, same. you know, she's older now, but she's, uh, she's wanting to play, um, obviously, through to the 2016 Olympics and maybe on after that. But uh, she's in the 20s. You know, I don't think yeah. the ranking is so important to her right now. I think trying to win titles Two. and oh, maybe sure. winning another slam, you know, it's history. Yeah. So Three. It is. It's incredible. Thank you Two. again for sharing your experiences. Awesome. And thanks to Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute for sponsoring this segment. Remember, there are six Davini offices and nine rehab facilities throughout the city. To find the one closest to you and set up an appointment, just visit joi.net. Mm, so there are cams, so my camera vacation and things. or stay at home vacation. We're going to discover all of the options coming up in just a minute. And, and three is up. With the higher cost stay by your brain. We can make a difference in the world while helping others. And the next, we'll be right back. Mm, take it. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, six five, four, three, three two, two, one. Thank you. Well, imagine traveling across the world, not as a tourist, but with the sole purpose Semi of helping three. Give her a little headroom on three. Go -to Thank nations, you. Visit impoverished countries and lend a helping hand with relief development. Vanessa Sembrano. Three is up. Did I say it right? Yes. Sembrano okay. is one of those missionaries. Thank you so much for being here. Two is up. You guys do such amazing things. How did this all get started for you? One. And what is your role in particular with Go to Nations? Two. Well, right now I'm serving in Jacksonville with three. the vice president of the ministry. And... Um, I am her assistant, technically, but I help with our training, so I coordinate the leadership development forum that we actually came on here a couple of weeks ago about, and I'm also helping to launch our Yeah, right? And we're going to talk about your experience Two. with Go To Nations. Because I think it's for, I, I think, the or the graphics. Some incredible stories it, to share, one of which was Something's so jumping, so one. Minute, but, but it seems like, two, it's happening when I advance the graphic. Story. What it was and what you One. that made you choose this career path. Well, Two. I went to a school in Dallas called Christ for the Nations, and they are all about helping the world. And so, for the first summer that I was there, I went on a short term trip to Asia with one of our missionaries, our Go to Nations missionaries. And when I saw Four. the hope that was 
lacking in the eyes of the people I saw, I just knew that I had to help someone. It, it didn't matter, you know, what I was doing as long as I was helping people. So that's what has really just pushed me to become a missionary. And this first mission that you went on, this was life-changing for you. And I think we've got a little clip of, of okay. some of what went on. So yeah. let's take a look at this. Son of Beam. And so I signed up to go on a short-term trip to Thailand. My first short-term trip literally changed 58 my seconds, life. taught to okay, think. Well, hello from America. We'll come back to when camera two. When I was in two. Thailand, I felt like it was familiar. Like I knew the smells, the faces, you know, the drives. I, I, it was just so familiar. And when I went there, I fell in love with the missionaries there more than anybody 30. else. 30. 30 and I just felt like they were family instead of doing a job that they were going to pour into me. Ready for this? The way I thought of life. 15. The way I was going to be driven in life, what my goals were in life. 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> what I had been 6, to think. 5, five four, 4, 3. three. My so kids. that is the trip that changed your life. And then after you came back, you're like, this is what I want to do. What steps did you take to then pursue the training to be able to do this then as a career? Two. Well, I finished college, first of three. all. Three. And then I. Step, step one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came to Go to Nations um, training in the Philippines. So that was um, three months that I spent in the Philippines helping Two. with um, building water catchment systems, just building relationships three. with some of the missionaries there and with the people that are being ministered to there. And then I went to Russia and I kind of felt that God was changing things in my life. You know, I thought I was going to move to Thailand and that didn't happen. So I moved to Jacksonville. And so I just kind of gone through it. I don't have a specific plan that I took, but it was just listen. I just listened step by step. Just go with it. Yeah. Three. Your heart, right? yeah. So you've been doing it for two. three years now. What are some of the places that you've visited? One. You mentioned a couple of them, but what are some of those places? In two. There? Are some elements or things that you learned or things that you were able to help with that were that were just amazing for you? Yeah, um, I've been to Thailand, like I said, and uh, we did uh, outreaches at high school. So we taught English at high schools. You know, we would spend hours and hours at high schools. Um, I've worked in India with victims of human trafficking. I've been to Laos and um, Myanmar, which are communist countries, to Vietnam. Um, getting media all really different i've done different things all over the place in the philippines we built water catchment systems One. and i went through a training there i've been to israel i've been how old are you can i ask you i know <laughs> yeah, you're right. never supposed to ask a woman's age but i mean you're just so young One. and you've done so much right. i mean you don't have to answer the question i'm 25 Two. it's wow which is incredible she's 25 she's and done she's more literally than just, most people yeah. I know. One. which is insane what's okay. your age so let's talk Two. about if someone's watching right now uh what would you tell them about why you chose this life and about go to nations if they're thinking about maybe One. I should follow my calling and maybe get involved with a missionary? Two. Well, just think about the life that you have Three. right now and how you grew up and everything you've had. And you go somewhere else and you see how there are children that have no hope, no dreams to be able to accomplish anything because they don't have anything at their foot, at their fingertips. Just give it all up for them to help them because you've lived a wonderful life there's no reason to be selfish there's not so give your perspective and context on life and if you can make a difference then you should go for it you are making a difference thank you i want to hug her can i hug her you go right ahead and hug and i'll give the information go to there you go go to nations response she's already tearing up okay you can learn more by visiting go to nations.org or by calling nine three nine eight six five five nine you can watch a full version of go to nations new video along with past videos features uh just go at go to go to nations.org and continue the conversation and go to nation's radio show today you can listen to that at three o'clock just click on the radio link on the website and again go to nations.org all right so there we cam stand by camera three three is up with her favorite picks for your holiday break. reading and she is coming up next and take it 10 9 8 X3, to my neck.
mic so here. We are getting down to the wire, and if you need some great guest ideas, then Stem you're camera three. on Sunday from the bookmark. Neptune Beach has some recommendations just for us. Rona, it's so good three. to see it's you. Nice to see Happy you. holidays. To you too. Exactly. Yeah. So what? Let's just start and let's work our way down because you've got quite an eclectic I do. group it, of books. It is eclectic because really it's that notion that there is something for everybody. So I tried to kind of mix up all the possibilities. But I had to be right. selfish and include my new favorite novel, The Book of Strange New Things by Michael, Michael Faber, who's an award-winning author. It's everything I hate in a book. And for some so you reason, love it. I had to read it because Two. of the reviews. And I absolutely adored it. It's about a um, minister Three. who gets chosen to go to another planet to minister to the aliens. I hate science fiction. I hate special effects. One. This is an amazing book. It's a social criticism. It's anthropological. It's amazing writing. And I kept getting up Three. earlier and earlier every day to read really? it. Really? So, to read yeah. something that you hate? Two. I, I loved it. Like <laughs> If you told me about this book, I would have said, no, no I'm not I'm not reading read that, that. But it's exquisite. Cool. And the strange Book of Strange Two. Things is supposed to be the Bible, so it's got this gilded edge, and it looks uh, like the Bible. So, so one. you know, give it a try, even if it's not your thing. Very so. cool. Love that. What's Two. next? Blue Avenue by Michael Wiley. And Michael one. Wiley is local. He teaches at the University of North Florida. And this is a mystery that takes place in Jacksonville. And it's about um, a woman who gets Four. found, and the person who's trying to solve it knew her 25 years ago. Three. And he finds out things he didn't need to know about her, and he starts stirring mm. things up, and that's never good Two. for the mm. people in the community. But it takes place in their hometown. One. And, and, and there's places in there that, that we know yeah, and we can see and have recognize. a sense of kind of I know. the, the geography of it. Yeah, yeah. isn't Two. that fun? Nice. That always make, and he lives here, so he knows those places. Um, this is for the history book, Buff on your one. list, Rebel Yell. This is about Stonewall Jackson, and he's, you know, one of those – um, figures it's very complicated because no matter what you think about everything that happened during this time period, he's always considered to be a great military strategist. And Two. So he's admired from both sides. Three. And so it makes him a more interesting character and he's being looked at by an award winning author. One. And journalist. So it's a great, yummy, fat is it kind of beyond, it's, it's based in fact and everything. It is. This is a nonfiction book. So this is for the history buff. It's Three. all well researched and footnoted and you know what you're getting into. Great. So. Now, is this one about dogs? Two. It is. <laughs> Good deal. I'm always so impressed when you say you need pictures. Thank you. Um, I do. There's a dog on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Darn. This is from the editors of Garden and Gun, which seems like such a strange magazine, but it's one of those great southern literary magazines. Two. And it's their favorite, uh, favorite column that people Three. have about dogs. So it's all your favorite writers, Clyde Edgerton, Rick Ray, Phil McCorkle, writing about their dogs and the owners who, you know, love them and take care of them. So Two. for the dog lover on your I list. I love that. Love that. And then we got something for the young adults, right? Yes, Unbroken. This is the movie comes out Christmas Day, and this is the book about One. Louis Zamperini, who just died, who was an Olympian and a POW and just an all around hero. So, this is a book about his inspirational sayings, and this is a young adult version of Unbroken. So, it has mm. more pictures than the adult version, and it takes out some of the grizzly Two. so that it's more palpable. It's for anyone 12 Three. and up. And okay. you get the same exact story without some of the more disturbing Two. things. Gotcha. So the well, inspiration without the pain. That's good. So right. either way that you want to go with that. That's right. That. Okay. Novel interiors, that's one of those sort of gifty ideas. It's sort of a double on time. Yeah, the next novel one. can be new, and it's really the fiction. It's how you can make rooms in your house be evocative of your favorite it's author or your favorite book. Mm. So if you want to surprise you. I don't think she had the books in the right order. Yeah. Or uh, design well. them or... In, in you way? know, it's not that specific. It's more a sense. What so book is she talking about? Fun the novel to interiors. So get the cozy little corner the one right there. Some little women it's red. Or the oh. chair from Charles one. Dickens. Or I was the following the super. Look of um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, or the magic wonderment of and Alice in Wonderland. How cool would it be to kind of s have that setting, set yourself up, and then read those books? Right, and you she skip would one or the lower third out of order. Doesn't matter. You're happy there, so. And this is a children's book. Well, you know, Two. it's really for adults. Is it, it really? It, it is. just dressed it up like uh, a Christmas It is, everything because I it's a golden yeah. book. It's One. everything I need to know about Christmas I learned from a golden book. Five. And so it's all the pictures One. from your favorite golden book. Two. And it uh, starts with kind of, yikes, it's December 25th, and then all the three. things that will happen. You'll have to shop. Two. You'll have to bake. You'll have to clean. See, you'll this have is to perfect. Do. This is my book. Right, and this is, this is all your pictures. <laughs> all the things that, these are One. all the original golden books, and at the end, it basically reminds you that there's more to Christmas than that, and, you know, the favorite thing, we should believe. Very nice. So and beautiful illustrations. It well. is, and Two. you'll remember them from your childhood. And who anyway. is coming to town? What author are we going to meet? Well, you know, there is life after Christmas. I know it's hard to imagine, but we have a whole new schedule of authors starting in January. And the first one is on Friday the 9th, Bernie Shine. Pat Conroy says he's the funniest man alive, or at this least that's be. what Bernie's been telling us for the last 30 years. So. <laughs> 
And all over, famous all over town is set in a small southern town. It has all the crazy characters of a small southern town. There's a lawyer, a psychiatrist, a sheriff, his mistress, a transvestite, wow. a teacher named Pat Conroy. Um, so this is a novel with all of the wackiness of great southern fiction that we all come to love. I'm going to so. break one. Very cool. Okay. Well, as always, stuff. thank you so much for being here. Cheers if you want to find any of these books that we've been talking about, just head to the Park, which is located at 221st Neptune Street. Uh, I'm sorry. First Street in <laughs> Neptune Beach. Thank you very much. And if you would like to go shopping at Bookmark on us, we are going to give one lucky viewer a $25 Come gift back to certificate. Casey. Just text the word bookmark to 25543 by Steve Skin today. One winner will be chosen at random. You must be, of course, 18 years or older to enter. And good luck to you. Yeah, Mike Casey. Well, it is time to come up so with a gift giving plan. Earlier this morning, I got some ideas from tech expert Andrew Kransky on making shopping a breeze. Take a look. Her real name. Hey, Casey. Thanks for having me on. Happy holidays. Three minutes, 57 Thank you. seconds. You what do you got X30 for us? next. All right. First, I want to give you some advice that's going to you know, relieve some stress for me. Hopefully, I know, over the holidays. I know. You know and what? That is get out to the stores early. Beat the crowds. Do some real shopping. Don't buy everything online. Support your local brick and mortars. Be sure to park at the same spot all the time so you don't lose your car. Bring your smartphone with you. So if you see something that's expensive, you can get online right away and find out if you're getting the best price possible for it. And also, be sure to take advantage of free shipping over the next few days because that can certainly add up. Yeah, and you know what? You're right. There are a lot of incentives now to do all that shopping online for free because you can get the free shipping. But if you're going to be shopping and supporting the local economy, as you mentioned, what are some of the things that we need to be doing before we leave the house? Okay, well, before you leave the house, just do some comparative shopping. Make sure that you know exactly what you need, what you have on your list. And, and the people you have on your list, what are they into? For example, on the top of my list this year is for the do-it-yourself around the house. So I've done some homework. I know that I want to buy for someone who likes to do their own projects around the house. Or I've got someone on my list who loves gadgets. So really think about who you're shopping for, and it makes it so much easier when you do set out to find the best prices and the best products. All right, let's talk about some of the uh, hot tech buys in stores this holiday season because that always seems to be a good default. Everyone likes getting a tech device of some sort over the holidays. Right. Well, this is, this is a technological gift, but it is also a tool, and it's a huge home run this year from the folks at Rockwell Tools. Rockwell Tools has a promotion this year called uh, it's Tools for People That Rock, and this is a popular tool called the Sonicrafter F50, and what it does is it turns that do-it-yourself person into a superhero. It gets rid of grout, it cuts wood, it sands, you can re that chair you've been refinishing forever. It notches out drywall, cuts through nails, PVC. Two minutes. It does everything. But what I love about it, Casey, is that it eliminates all this clutter, and, and you can get rid of all these other tools. It is the fastest oscillating cutting tool on the market, so it's safe, it's precise, it doesn't vibrate, and it's going to allow you to get those things done around the house, and it's only $135. You can find it at Lowe's. As you can tell, I'm very excited about it. It, it is good, and it is good for the significant other of the person who uses it because it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it does lead to things getting done around the house. What else do you have? Exactly. Now, I've got a really cool cell phone, too. It's called the LG G3 from U.S. Cellular, and it's a game changer when it comes to smartphones, all right? It's the perfect smartphone, according to Forbes. It's got a 5.5-inch quad HD display, which is four times the resolution of HD. So pictures and videos are phenomenal. It's got an amazing 13 megapixel OIS plus camera with laser auto One minute. Focus. So photos are going to look like they're 3D. They're spectacular. And last but not least, it's got some features that LG is famous for, like the knock code, so you can get into your phone by tapping it in a certain way that only you know. One of my favorite things about this really ergonomic and light phone, other than the great battery life, is you can take a selfie, Casey, and you don't have to worry or fuss with the button. You can take this hand and give it a code, hold it open, and when you make a fist, in three seconds, it's going to take that selfie so you don't have to mess it up and lose yourself in the fight because you're fussing with your camera. Oh, wow. That's only $99, and it's uh, $99 on a two-year contract. That's a great deal. Well, thank heavens for that selfie feature, boy. We'll tell Joanna when she comes in. Hey, she works on the set, by the way. Uh, where can we go to get more information short on time? All right, go to rockwelltools.com. You can go to uscellular.com or my website, seven, which is the six, five, All right, thanks so much. Four, Appreciate it. Three. Thanks, Casey. Happy holidays. Two, 
one. And we'd like to thank Rockwell Tools and LG Mobile for sponsoring this segment. We'll stick around. Celeb chef and lifestyle expert Seven James Flynn breaks down how we can be the best host your break. or hostess this holiday season. We'll do it. I'm going to take it. Now, can we do people on the end? Ten. Oh. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. seven six. Five. five four. Three. Two. One. Mike, you Casey? Well, with the holiday season upon us, you may be looking for new ways to host annual get-togethers. Send wow. my aim. And I recently spoke with chef and lifestyle expert James Wynn for advice on how to be the hostess with the mostest, as well as a guest at your next holiday bash. Okay. Mm, roll name. That's what we're all about, right? A very happy holiday season to you. Thank you for having me. There is much to get done, and it's hard to remember everything, but I've teamed up with some really terrific companies so that I can share some inspiration, a little help, and a, a few secret sort of twists, I guess, on the way that I try to get through the holiday season. Stress less, I like to call it. So during the winter, we often forget, but with all the long travel days, with all the gatherings, it's really important to stay hydrated. So my favorite of it's choice, like, uh, I will say, when it comes to staying hydrated, drink-wise, is vitamin water zero. It tastes great, but it has zero calories, and who doesn't love that? That unique combination of nutrients and vitamins is the added plus, but I've been using it in so many different ways. I use it in my morning protein drink, which my husband makes, which I love. Um, I have it out at holiday get-togethers, and I have two personal favorite flavors, Power C and Revive. Also, I like to make ice cubes with my Vitamin Water Zero, and then it never gets watered down because they're Vitamin Water Zero ice cubes in Vitamin Water Zero. So, um, my holiday favorite. And then, I'm always on the go, everyone is, during the holiday season, and, you know, I cook up a feast for most days uh, during this season itself. So, whether you're cooking for a big crowd, hosting the events, or even attending. Great lifestyle tip, the new Gillette and Secret Clear Gel Deodorant. Always have my husband and I covered, because with the sprays, you never know what kind of coverage you're getting. Two minutes. Or where it's spraying for that matter, but with the Clear Gel, two twists of the dial are all you need, 48 hour protection. This is my new favorite thing. Um, you're meeting your, let's say, uh, soon to be in-laws for the first time, like I did, I was recently married, or um, if you are in the kitchen cooking up a great meal. The clear gel for the guys keeps them cool and confident. And then for us ladies, you know the little black dress? No risk of white marks on that little dress, which is most important. So uh, I will say, lifestyle secret of great chef, Gillette and secret. And then last but not least, if you're looking for that last minute host or hostess gift, or if you're putting together a holiday get together, I think that uh, when it comes to a wonderful wine choice from America's oldest winemaking family, the Fruit Forward Wines Premium from Mirasu Winery are perfect for the holiday season. And I'll tell you why. The bottle is gorgeous with that beautiful sun. It is beautiful enough without any gift wrapping required. So if you're just picking up a last minute gift, consider that a bottle of wine is One minute. always appreciated by food lovers. Maybe you're pairing it with your fabulous holiday recipes. I like to do this actually as a table setting and I'll put everyone's name on it. And then when they fall in love with the Mirasu Pinot Noir that's paired with um, your wonderful lamb at dinner, you say, oh, everyone's taking home a bottle and you are a culinary hero. Plus, um, not only are they great choices, but luckily for us, they're all at a great price. 30. And then last but not least, 30 out. a gift of food. Everybody loves a homemade gift. And these are my homemade cookie mixes in mason jars. So inexpensive to make at home. I posted three recipes for all 15. the wiring you 15 need. Out. And all the information heard about uh, these products that you heard me speak about 10, are at chefamy.com. One and my Q. And vitamin water zero, Gillette and Secret are responsible for sponsoring that segment. And coming right up, we're gonna have Double your cam. holiday safety checklist with the it's items that break. can be often overlooked. Coming up right after this break, and we will be right back. And take it. I just go to rest stops. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. My for all the many families, the holiday begins when they put up the Christmas tree. But for some, the holiday comes with safety hazards that people often overlook. From festive candles to strings of lights, holiday decorating carries fire risks and other safety concerns. 
I recently spoke with the director of consumer safety at Underwriters Laboratories. He had tips on staying safe this holiday season. Real name. Well, Christmas trees can be a hazard, as can many other things during I'll the right holiday back. season. And that's why, since we're so busy, we sometimes forget about safety. And the recommendation is always take a few seconds to think about what you're doing and keep yourself and your family safe. And that starts with the tree. The tree is something that uh, is very important because it's a big item. It's a lot of fuel. We always recommend running your hand along the branches. If you end up with a handful of needles at the tree yard, make sure that you don't buy that tree or bring it home. You want a fresh tree, and that's the way to tell. Just run your hand along those branches, and you want no needles. The other thing you should remember to have the tree lot do is cut an inch or two off the base of the tree. That inch or two could be very important because it gives you a nice clean cut on the tree that you're taking home, and that means that it will absorb water. And a well-watered tree is a tree that will be safer. And that's the other thing you have to do. Once you get that tree home, you put it in water, and you check that water every day to make sure there's enough there to keep the bottom of that tree wet. And that's extremely important. Uh, finally, with trees, when you locate them inside your home, you want to make sure that you try to keep them away from radiators and heat vents and fireplaces, things that tend to dry out the tree. But remember, no matter how careful you are and how well you water that tree, trees on average will last only about four weeks before they become too dry. So after four weeks, it's about time to think about taking that tree back outside. Okay, what about the pre-lit artificial Christmas trees? Are there any risks associated with those? You know, artificial trees can burn just as well as real trees. The reality is that uh, there's been a lot of research done by UL on artificial <laughs> trees, and we now have standards and test uh, <laughs> procedures for testing artificial trees. So if you're buying a pre-lit artificial tree, look for the UL mark on that tree. It will help you uh, know. assure you that the tree is something that, although it will burn, it will burn much more slowly than other trees. What about the uh, holiday lights? You know you see this time of year people putting them up inside and outside. What should families be keeping in mind? You know, holiday what lights Tim are so doing? important, but unfortunately about 15,000 yeah, people just hanging out in the make seat. hospital okay. emergency room visits can. because of injuries right, from decorations. I was just making That's sure he didn't need me to do anything. No, no. The reality is what you should do with holiday Which I didn't know what I could do anyway. Look for frayed wires. No, look he's for cracked sockets. If walking you see around. Any of these things, Two minutes. It's dangerous. Stretching his it's legs. That you should get rid of. Don't try to repair it. Just throw the decoration okay. away. So what kind of bump shot do you want to do? Um, and are something that uh, you can replace very easily. Yeah, there's nothing it's going on down here. And helps keep your family safe. Also, uh, outdoors, I guess we could do an egg control. want to be sure that you understand okay. that certain decorations are meant only for indoor use. Here's a decoration that has a UL label that's green in color. The UL in a circle oh is green. That means that it's been given tests only for indoor use, and this decoration should never be used outside. What you're looking for for outside decorating is a decoration like this one that has a red UL in a circle. That red uh, that's UL in a not a problem. Do you hear that, Sally? Nope. Extra tests like rain tests and yes. cold weather okay. tests, and these are good for outdoor decorating. So, indoor decorating, use the green UL label and keep those decorations indoors at all times. For outdoor decorating, look for the red UL label, and that decoration can be used outdoors as well as indoors if you want. Also, if you're decorating... Oh, go right ahead, just want about 30 seconds left. Go right ahead. Uh, also, okay. if you're decorating, use only plastic hooks. Never use metal nails or staples. You can damage the insulation on wire. It can become a shock hazard or a fire hazard. Use the plastic I'll hooks that are available anywhere. And where's the bee right back going to go? Is Easy that in the monitor? You want me to take it up full? Take them down. Easy on the okay. Wires. Behind the case, you're the one that Sally's going right, into. Thank you so much. We talked about a lot of stuff here. That's so is there smart, a right? So that we yeah. can go and do a little bit more research on our own to find out some more safety tips for around the house? UL.com is the website that has now. all of the holiday safety tips that we've talked about. It also has safety yeah, tips year-round. So go to UL.com for great safety tips. Yeah. All right, John. Thanks so much. Thank you, and have a very happy Stand by safe three, holiday season. Two. Mike, you. And thanks to Underwriters Laboratories for sponsoring this segment. Be right back. Hey, she's up. Take it. Mm. Supposed to be with yeah, her? Nick, you gotta get in there. In there reminding people Ten. Nine. Nine.
eight, seven. seven hurry, hurry, hurry. Six, six five, four, four you got a three, three. Oh, packages two, first. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. One. Mike Q. Well, the holiday season is in full swing with many families traveling near and far to take a much needed Stemma vacation. Stemma Bean. Kim Orlando is the founder of TravelingMob.com. And whether you're planning a staycation or traveling the world, she has some advice on how to make the most of the holiday vacation. Take a look at this. All right, Bean. Hi, I'm Kim Orlando, founder of TravelingMob.com. I recently mm -hmm. created a statistic from the U.S. Travel Association which stated that 40% of Americans don't take all their vacation days, leaving 430 million days of unused paid vacation days If that's you and you still have some time left this year, you are counting to that. I've been working with some great companies and brands this year and I have some fantastic gift ideas to share. Yeah, if you can. I mean, I'll, I'll try my best to remember it, but yeah, that will be helpful. David Whether you're looking to stay local David or travel Smith. outside the U.S., there are so many great okay. deals to take advantage of right now. If you're yeah, looking for a truly upscale experience, yeah. make sure to check out Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. They have over 180 uh, locations and top vacation destinations so around the world, them. including um, Orlando, Puerto Rico, okay, and New York City, with all the amenities you'd expect. Uh -huh. If you book a stay at a participating hotel, it's either free to join Wyndham Rewards Loyalty holiday. Program. From Take now through January 13th, you can down earn down up to 10 in bonus rewards points which can be put towards and more great travel gifts for yourself or others, like free nights and gift cards. Okay. Packing right is important. <laughs> it's like a reading really comprehension test. If you're flying, <laughs> fees, and if you're driving, a lighter load saves gas dollars. You might want to ditch the heavy laptop for an iPad and portable keyboard. The new Logitech keys to go is a portable keyboard that is One minute. super light. And you can easily tuck it into your purse or your backpack. It works on all models of iPads and iPhones and comes in three fashionable colors. As a mom, I especially love its fabric. I didn't realize um, Haley was working today. I thought it was all this week she was on. A little peace of mind when I'm okay. traveling with my kids. So you, you doing... Appropriate clothing for wherever you're headed. I guess since Dave's here, y'all don't need me to run prompter for FCL. If y'all do, just let me know. I'll be here at 10-ish. They also have a jersey-lined waistband, breathable mesh pockets, and moisture-wicking fabric. 15 out of the package. Comfortable and cool. The hidden security pockets are great for holding valuable. Well, there might be a day. Holiday hotspots. I don't know what we're gonna do this weekend. And versatile enough to be mixed and matched for any occasion while traveling. Five. Oh, is it? For more information and tips, go to travelingmom.com. Uh, stand by and my cues because I don't have it full screen. I'd like to thank Wyndham Resorts and Logitech for sponsoring this segment. I want to thank her. She looks like the mom from Family Ties. And it took us the whole segment to figure to out, figure out what we does she look like. One, two, three. There it is. All right, coming up tomorrow on First Goes Living, support Crap. for people who may struggle with sobriety and why the holidays may be a little bit difficult and what you can do to help anybody that might be faced with that. Plus, gift options beyond the toys and the gadgets. That's tomorrow on First Goes Living. In the meantime, we want to take a little bit of a recap of all of the highlights of today's yes. show. Yes. And we, we had some good moments that. with GoTo Nations and Vanessa, Holiday. where you get up and you give her a group oh, hug. She was so, I mean, and we put in slow motion, too. Do you want me to go ahead and put in the thingy? Yeah, you can. She has done so much. We had, uh, uh, David, was it David? Sorry. David? Yeah. Trit. What was that? Twit. 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 Yeah, I'll get it right. I, I knew I could get it right. Yeah, and then Rona Brindley, Rona obviously. Brindley. She's such a gem. She's over at the bookmark in Neptune Beach. And I'll tell you what, she is a wealth of knowledge and always learning. Sarah Bunkham. Absolutely. Did you go and get any gifts for Ron? No, he has done zero. But he's got, when does he come home? He'll be home later this week. You got like a day or two. You got to go yeah. shopping. Go shopping. You got go all these great ideas. gift ideas like the 12 uh, gifts of Christmas that we're doing. We did one today. We got 11 more. See you guys tomorrow. Dev Star. <laughs> and take it. I had more ideas than Mr. Rogers. I did. <laughs>